the, the most important thing about Huddle was there was a whole lot of discussion among the coaches before he even went to the kids, and that's important. They're sucking wind, they're tired, they gotta get some water in them. Give them a couple seconds to catch their breath, get some fluids in them, and then tell them some stuff. And he, he basically told them three different things, what defense we're in, if we're gonna trap, and keep spread on offense. Smart timeout. Thomas going to work. Thomas spin move and got the roll. Use the momentum of your defender against him. He got Cooksley in him one way and spun back. Great balance for the bucket in the lane. Cooks had it ripped away. Dives on the floor. Out of bounds to Asheville. How many times did we hear Coach McDevitt yesterday say, and today at shoot around when the ball goes in the post, as he starts to dribble, go dig it out. Well, about seven hands went after that basketball and knocked it out. Venata, offensive foul. It's his third. Because of the way Kevin Venata plays the basketball game, as aggressive as he is, you got to live with this. That's a tough call right in front of the Asheville bench. But you gotta you got live with that. The kid just plays hard. Jamie Lucky, that's probably a... That's a tough call, but I'm not gonna argue with Jamie Lucky. He's made a lot more calls than I have seen. They love to play with their hands aggressively and steal the ball. That guy at 77 coming in. You steal it, I'll get it back to you for two. Macy O.T., just a great decision maker. He might have had a layup. That guy had a dunk. Little enthusiasm over there. You know, the crowd got into it before the steal. The roof came off this place on the dunk. This game is far from over, Robert. But they're a different kind of players. Some guys want to take the game over and don't have the ability. And then you got special guys like this one that want to take it over and have the ability to take it over. And you just saw Ahmad Thomas right there. We still got a long way to go. Shot by Johnson, 24 points. We'll see, it's definitely a three. He was about eight inches behind the line. We talked about Ahmad Thomas being the guy that has the ability and the brains to take a game over. Well, that young man's the leading scorer in the history of Winthrop University. That was a big one. The three-point shot's not a big deal anymore in college basketball. Final five and a half seconds. They get it in for Teague. He starts up the court with three. Teague trying to get the shot away. He will. He'll hit it. Maceo Teague sends it to overtime. Talk about cool, calm, and collected. At the end of the half, we said he made a great decision. We showed you last time they played, he missed a three. He did not panic and shot it with no time left. Macy Oteague, the freshman, with the biggest shot of his career so far. Little size advantage on Johnson, but he didn't panic. He faked twice. Look at Coach McDevitt, he's a little fired up. This is just very cool, very calm, and bingo to go to OT. Winthrop. Robert, the hard part now about calling sets on either team is the guys that are normally on the floor for your team aren't on the floor. So you got to go with, you know, plan B and C and D. Obviously, Cook's not on the floor at this end for the Winthrop Beagles. And because of that, Winthrop much smaller, but they got shooters. Broman, another huge three. Guarded by Teague. Senior against freshman, step back three. He got it! Keon Johnson with 29 and a timeout. Winthrop. No Xavier Cooks on the floor because of foul trouble. It's on this man's shoulders. And man, does he pay it off. Great step back shot. Separation from Macy Oteague. Turnabout is fair play, I believe is the expression. And they paid it off. Here we go. Winthrop can play for the win. Johnson directing traffic. Johnson with one second left, stolen away, double overtime. Thomas did not get.
get it away. Double overtime. Tied at 90. As a coach, you're always worried this time of the year. Do we have our legs? Did I work them too hard in practice? The answer so far is no, either of you coaches did not, because they got plenty of legs left. Okay. One, three, one zone. Deflections, that's what they're trying to get. Deflections and keep Keon Johnson 35 feet away. Deep three. Thomas the rebound. That's exactly what Asheville wanted out of that possession. A long three. Back in the zone. 8-0 run for Asheville in double overtime. Two best shooters, 35, 40 feet away at the top of the zone. Teague so hard to throw over at the top of it. Johnson takes matters into his own hands. It's a good move. You got to get down to a vulnerable spot. The vulnerable spot is near that corner when you drive past the wingman. 34 points for Keon Johnson. Is that all? You know, it's so important, and I see this so many times in college basketball games. You don't know when your teammate's going to shoot. Watch the net at the top of your picture. He knows the shot's going up. He gets his butt in there for a rebound, and then he gets shoved. So many times you stare at somebody and watch him Kevin shoot it and shoot don't go inside. Two. Kevin Venata did. Now he's paying it off. It took about three seconds to go from a missed free throw. Just you got the defense in a scramble situation. Attack the rim. Excellent job. Venata back. Venata moves over. He got the bump and an end one. 40 seconds left. Winthrop a chance to take the lead. Johnson pulls up for three. He got it. 40 points. Career high for Keon Johnson. He has scored 14 in a row. Timeout Asheville. We opened the game saying how he had such bad games against the Asheville Bulldogs. Boy, has he turned that around. I wouldn't guard him either from there. It's just way too far out. But not for that young man. The senior from Mansfield, Ohio, has had an unbelievable game. Johnson career high 40. Two to tie, three to take the lead. Teague runs into traffic. Score it! And the foul! Maceo Teague, chance to give his team the lead. The officials weren't sure if one guy caught a charge and the other one caught a block. But Maceo T down the middle. Jerry Heater calls the block and an and one opportunity. I don't know about that one. He was set. Chance for Teague. With 25 seconds left. <laughs> Make or miss? Keon Johnson's got a lot of time left. 20. 4.6 seconds left. Macy O.T. chance to give his team the lead. <laughs> 24 points for Macy O.T. Who will land the final knockout punch? I might trap Keon Johnson coming off any screens just so he'll pass the ball because it's going to be a high ball screen, you would think. They're going to hold for one shot here. Yep. Johnson matched up on Teague. He Under 10 want, seconds to go. He doesn't want to scream. Six seconds left. Step back three. Blocked. Miller's got it. He's fouled with one second to go. Maceo Teague, the block. Game is not over. One second left. You want your players to get better every day. Macy O.T. got burned on a couple step-back jumpers early. He waited till Keon Johnson went up, and with his length, he could be far enough away to block the shot. Raekwon Miller is a 76% free throw shooter. Regardless of what happens on the first free throw, he should miss the second free throw on purpose. I 100% agree. Because then Winthrop has to get the rebound and shoot it 90 feet to win the game. One second left. Clock will start. When the ball is touched, Ahmad Thomas will guard the ball. Davenport can run the baseline. Ahmad Thomas tips it, game's over. Runs the baseline, throws it, intercepted. Johnson from half court. Asheville wins. Epic victory, 104-101. In double overtime, they outlast Winthrop.